Okay, now we're going to start making this face look real interesting. So you want to select the layer that has the face, and we're going to be creating new layers with different parts of the face, and then in the end we'll merge all those together and then create this oil paint effect, which uh, really makes it look like a caricature. So first we're going to go over to our selection tools. We've got any of these as options to us. I found the one that works the best for this is the lasso tool. So if you don't have that selected, you know, it could be hiding underneath some of these other ones, but uh, lasso tool right there. Then you want to trace around the area that you're going to be working with. So I'm going to be focusing on this eye. So I'm going to just click and drag around, create a selection of that eye part of the face. Anything that's within that uh, marching ants area is part of the selection. I can right click and then create a new layer by copy. You know, it's its own layer over here, layer number four. Now with this, I've got a few different options. I can either do Control T and change the size, or even right click on that and go with any of these transforming options. Um, I think Distort and Skew and Perspective, all these are real interesting ones to use. You know, for example, Warp, just kind of click and drag around. You know, so we'll do this for one of them. All right. Now, it doesn't a very appealing line right around here. Uh, we're going to fix that by using the eraser tool. So on the side of the tools area here, you can click there. Make sure that at the top you've got 0% hardness and you can adjust the size as needed. But you're just going to clean up the edges of this uh, layer so that way it looks a little more natural. Well, as natural as it can look. You can see how it cleaned up some of the lines. All right, let's go back to the face layer because we're going to select a different area and work with that in a slightly different way. So go to my lasso tool again. Uh, why don't we work with just the nose? So I'm going to drag a little selection kind of right around the nose here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Right click, layer by copy. And this time I'm going to use something called liquify up here. So on the filter menu, Click on liquify. And now we've got just our nose available here. Let me change this so you can see all the, the sides to it. All right, there's lots of things you can do. I mean, I clicked advanced mode here. Um, you don't necessarily have to have that open, but it will give you some more options if you need um, to work with. But everything around here are things you can work with. Um, I love working with either the pucker or the bloat tool. Pucker makes everything inside of your brush contract. Right, make it smaller. Bloat brings anything inside your brush and makes it larger. Right, spiral is kind of crazy. Make everything kind of turn. I'm going to undo that one. And uh, once you like how it looks, you know, obviously here's a, a kind of a smudge tool. Kind of like stretch things around. Once you like how it looks, just hit OK. And it'll change things on here. Um, so Again, go back to the eraser. So that's the layer with the nose, and try to clean up the edges just a little bit. Okay, so once you've gone through and you've made all the changes you want to make, um, I just want you to go over here and select all of the face features and the head. So click on the top layer and hold shift, click down to the face, and I want you to merge these together. And you'll do that by either going up to the layers level here and um, go down to merge layers. Um, or you can even right click over here and you can get to that too. All right now that they're merged, you can do any final adjustments. Um, maybe you want to make the head just a little bit crazier looking. Squish it a little bit. Or maybe you want to right click on here and make it skewed. You know? You're going to make it look really crazy. Right after that, um, we're going to do something called oil paint effect. So um, this is going to make it look a little bit more like a caricature that you'd see at a, a fair. So I'll click up on filter, go down to oil paint. Um, normally this is supposed to show you a preview of what you're seeing. I'm not quite sure why that's not working. Uh, maybe it'll work on your computer. But generally I like to throw lighting down to zero and shine, you know, angular direction and shine down to zero. And then you can kind of play around with this. Unfortunately you won't be able to see um, here, how it's affecting 
Well, that must just be a glitch that I've got on my computer here. Uh, but hit OK. Really see how this changes it to look more like a painting. Kind of like uh, what you'd see with an airbrush painting on a real caricature. Um, after you've completed that, you're all set to go. Go File, Save As. Save it as a JPEG. All right. Upload it and turn it in.